Hey everybody. Yeah, it's a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna do a, uh, a Coors product today. Uh, I was looking for a sampler pack and I've tried most of the most of the the craft ones so saw this on the on the shelf six different beers from uh, Blue Moon uh, sampler pack. So I picked one up yesterday and the first one I'm gonna do is their farmhouse red. Uh, it's a Saison slash Flanders style ale. Well, I like Flanders reds and I like Saisons. So uh, apparently they're, gonna, they're trying to blend uh, blend the two styles. Um, uh, from the website it says two styles, one work of art. Blue Moon Farmhouse Red Ale, much like our Blue Moon Belgian White Belgian style wheat ale, was inspired by our brewmaster's travels across Belgium. His journey started in the, the southern region of Wallonia. If you ask him today, he'd tell you he'll tell you stories about walking through the small town of Pipakes, discovering local farmhouse ales. The spicy yet refreshing character of these handcrafted ales piqued his curiosity. From there, he headed north to Flanders, a re region well known for its sour Belgian red ales. These refreshingly tart, deep red ales have an unmistakable taste that you have to experience for yourself. Over the next 20 years, whenever he returned to Belgium, our brewmaster found himself drawn to these two styles. After sharing a couple of ales with old friends, he got the idea to blend the spice character of a farmhouse ale with the tartness of a Belgian red ale to create our farmhouse red ale. His interpretation blends grains, especially malt, for a pleasantly tart finish. 5.4% um, ABV, uh, 15 IBUs. So let's see what Blue Moon has done with this blending of uh, two distinct, uh, very different styles. Got a little smoke. Ha! Wouldn't you know it? Twist off. It's been so long since I had a Blue Moon beer, I forgot. They still got the twist off, twist off bottles. Got a nice warmish day today. It's around 80. Humidity's down a little bit. Uh, had some more thunderstorms move through last night and kind of cleared the air a little bit. So it's not a bad day. Um, we got a nice copper, almost almost burgundy style. A uh, little lighter in the base where the glass is thinner, but uh, pretty dark in the top. Uh, seems to be a moderate amount of carbonation stream up. Uh, mixture of different size bubbles. Got a Probably had a pinky of a, a slightly off-white, uh, foamy-looking head, but uh, seems to be dissipating fairly quickly. Uh, like I said, not a ton of carbonation streaming up to maintain that head, so let's get a nose on it. Okay, yeah, you just got a, uh, like some ger generic amber malts in there. They're, they're freshly, uh, they're, they're, kind of muted a um, little bit of uh, toasted malt and uh, some spiciness like from a Belgian Belgian yeast uh, not getting any tartness like you get from those Flanders reds or maybe just a little bit of raisins um, maybe just a a bit of uh, a bit of that Belgian type yeast um, Saison style yeast, um, some light pepper notes, um, maybe some uh, flowery uh, hop notes, maybe a little coriander. I think they did add coriander to it. Um, I saw a list of ingredients, but I didn't look when I went to the website. But I didn't look it over really closely. Um, but uh, generally muted, but um, pleasant smelling. Uh, doesn't smell like either either a Saison or a, or a Flanders Red uh, in any way, so uh, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, now up front, yeah, there's that general, again, generic um, amber malt uh, sweetness. Um, there might be just a, a light hint of some chocolate, maybe some nuttiness there, though it's um, it's all all pretty subtle. Um, 
there's a touch of a dry peppery spice on the finish um, but, but there definitely isn't any any tart that's like you get in a Flanders red that's for sure it's a medium sweet spice flavor um, medium sweet um, finish uh, sticks around for a little bit um, there uh, might be an underlying like earthy straw note and uh, some underlying bready notes maybe just like a hint of uh, like cookie dough but uh, doesn't really smell or taste like uh, either a Saison or a Flanders Red. Um, definitely, definitely no tartness in here like like a Flanders Red. Um, uh, I don't know what they they're ta they were talking. I don't. I think they mentioned tartness in here on the description, but I'm not getting. It's basically a, a sweet uh, malty beer from uh, from start to finish, and primarily those. Those amber malts um, seems to be a, like a medium light bodied, uh, fairly smooth uh, texture, and uh, some really soft carbonation. But uh, it doesn't taste like uh, there's no resemblance either to a to a to a saison or a Flanders red. But uh, let me sit, and I will. Uh, let this warm up a bit and sip on it a while, and I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It hadn't been all that long. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, two, the, the, the blending of uh, two disparate styles like uh, like a Saison and a Flanders Red just don't uh, don't seem to work this this well. It's not a not a not a very good example of a farmhouse ale. Um, you get some light, uh, light sweetness, and uh, maybe just a little bit of uh, the spiciness from the yeast, and uh, there's no no tartness at all to it, um, like in a Flanders Red. Uh, it's a yeah, I don't know. It's 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 an attempt by a, by a macro brewer to to make something halfway interesting. It's not a bad drinking beer. It's just if you want. Uh, you want to get familiar with either of those two styles um this is not the one to do it it's it's an easy drinking beer it's a pleasant beer uh, it's, you know you got that sweet uh, sweet malts um with a very light uh, belgian yeast tang uh from from start to finish um the those the hot there's there i don't uh don't discern any hops at all other than and that's really gone now just uh it was it was just like a slight uh, slight flowery note um, like maybe they used some uh, noble hops or something but uh, the as it's warmed up uh, this this seems to have a lot of the the, the features of a of a cheap beer, you know, like Coors, but uh, it's got kind of a uh, metallic aftertaste now. Just a, the nose, although light, before just kind of uh, kind of musty. Now the sweet, the sweetness is almost like something you'd uh, you try to, you know, for a kid, you try to try to conceal some medicinal uh, flavors uh, with it's just uh, like I said well even even on the beginning when it was when it was cold um, it's just a generic amber malt sweetness um, although although light uh, it's it's still light uh, in scent and aroma and mouthfeel um, not a great beer um, it's not a bad beer. It's just not a not a great beer. It's not, uh, and it's a, like I said, poor example of both styles. So I'm gonna give the, and this is from their expressionist collection, whatever the heck that is. Their farmhouse red saison Flanders style ale. 
it's gonna get a I'll be generous I'll give it it's easy drinking I'm, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 I'm gonna give it a 6 or a 6.5 but I'll, I'll pump it up a bit and uh, give it a give it a 7 out of 10 uh, not great certainly not worth uh, not worth uh, going out of your way looking for and all, all on the website it says 5.4 percent ABV on the bottle it says 5.8 but you know that's not a lot but uh, not a great beer but not a bad beer so till next time everybody cheers let's keep drinking good beers